Hey everybody, welcome back to the Centitar Fragrance Channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Benjamin, and I review fragrances, colognes, perfumes, and all things scent related. I learn about them, I smell them, and I share them with you. That just came out of my head, and I love it. So we're going to be talking about top 10 best summer fragrances for the high heat, for when it's scalded, for when it's going to be burning your skin. It's, it can give you tan lines, it might give you burn lines. Let's talk about these fragrances, guys and gals. Fantastic summer fragrances. If you're a gal, thank you so much for being here on my channel. These could be fantastic gifts. I guarantee you that. First one we got to talk about, y'all probably know about it. It's a fantastic fragrance. It is Guerlain's Le Homme Ideal Cologne. So Ideal Cologne is a much fresher version, a much lighter version of the original. You're going to get a beautiful almond note. It still has that almond note, but it's kind. It's so it's kind of nutty. It's interesting. There's a little bit of sweetness. There's a very nice vibe with this fragrance. Very smooth, kind of gentlemanly, kind of professional, but it's for the young man. It's for the classy man who is soft smoking, well put together, very clean. So this is a very good modern fragrance. It doesn't perform the best. You're probably going to get about four, maybe five hours of longevity. But boy, is this a good modern fragrance. A modern fragrance DNA. If you want to smell like new, hip, and just like you're smelling original, nobody else is going to be smelling like you. I can guarantee you that. Check out this one, especially if you're a younger guy and want a fragrance to be classy and just smell very well put together. Of course, there's YSL's Le Homme, but this one is just even more modern. I can really put my word on that. So we're going to next one is a fantastic fragrance. One of the fragrances I really recommend and people, I wish they talked about it more in the fragrance community, even this whole line of fragrances. This is Guerlain's Own, the original. Yes, this is a beautiful fragrance. Yes, you don't get the best performance for maybe five hours, but in the high heat, just about any fragrance, you're going to have to reapply it and you're probably not going to stay out in that scalding, burning sun for any more than two or three hours, let's be honest, unless you really want to, you know, have a new layer of skin on your back, if you know what I mean. What you're getting here is a beautiful mojito note. It's a boozy lime fragrance. It's beautiful. It smells very original, very different, very classy. For what you're paying for this on the gray market, 40 around the $50 mark, this, it, this smells niche quality. This smells amazing. This smells very well put together. It has a luxurious feel about this fragrance, no doubt about it. So if you want to be smelling fantastic, a fragrance that leans a little bit more towards the green side of things. And I really do support and encourage people to explore green fragrances because sometimes they can be beautiful, just like this one. Guerlain Ohm, the original, the one that started it all. So next... I had to share one of my most classic fragrances, one of my most beloved fragrances. You could choose any of the line, but this is my favorite from this line. This is another, none other than Giorgio Armani's Aqua Di Gio Ascenza. Yes, the Ascenza version. This one, to my nose, smells a higher quality. It smells much more classy and well put together. It has an interesting aldehyde kind of vibe to it, and it smells a little bit sour in a way. And in the high summer heat, that can give a real interesting vibe with that freshness. I really do love this fragrance. And for an aquatic, for a very fresh fragrance, this one really performs. Again, this one does smell a little bit more mature and a little bit more classy, but it is a fantastic fragrance. It is a wonderful fragrance. And I think that anybody 25 plus could use this in their collection. It's super versatile anywhere, anytime, and it stands up to the high summer heat. This is none other than Aqua Di Gio Ascenza, one of my favorites of my collection, one of the best out there in my opinion. Get it while you can. It is discontinued as far as I know. Next one is one of the wild cards in this list. I do like to share something odd, something you have never heard of before, and this one is one of those fragrances. This is by, uh, I believe it is Owl Rehab, and it's called A Seal. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. A-S-E-E-L. This is a very light, kind of transparent, sour, woody fragrance. You're getting a metallic vibe from this fragrance, no doubt about it. It could remind you of Silver Mountain Water, and it is a fantastic fragrance. It uh, lasts and lasts, it performs, and you're getting a really good bang for your buck. For about six mils, you're going to get 
pay about six dollars on this wherever you find it on eBay and it simply is beautiful there's nothing really out there like it there are some fragrances out there that do have a metallic vibe Silver Mountain Water of course is one of them by Creed but this one takes the cake I think that this is one of the best metallic fragrances it has a very classy vibe it has a sour vibe and yet it has a freshness about it so if you want to smell like nobody else if you want to smell completely original nobody else is going to be wearing this probably especially in the western you know United States in the West check this one out if you want to smell original it's really easy to carry in your pocket to reapply it this is a rockin fragrance for the summer and I was amazed I never knew that I would come to that conclusion I read the notes and I researched it and this is a stellar fragrance so check out a seal by Al Rehab a fantastic fragrance so the next one is for the guys who don't want to offend who want to smell very nice who want their salty aquatic but again want it to be inoffensive so they could wear it anywhere maybe they travel a lot and they're around a lot of people in a professional situations this is none other than ultra blue by polo a very light transparent ambergris aquatic again that can smell ge uh, sound generic but it, it doesn't smell generic this fragrance smells fantastic again the performance isn't the best here but it also does have a eccentric molecule kind of feel to this fragrance and it does seem to cling on the skin have that skin vibe so if you like that kind of thing if you like a fragrance that holds on and is very 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 much a personal kind of scent a fragrance that bonds with you and becomes a part of you definitely check this one out this is ultra blue not a lot of people are talking about it and i think it's really good for for what it is definitely check it out the next one is None other than one of my favorite fragrances. One of my most beloved fragrances for the summer. Y'all know I'm a big fan of this probably by now. This is Akva, the original by Bulgari. This one is a very deep ocean fragrance. You're getting deep blue. You're getting seaweed. You're getting salt. Lots of salt. And you're getting a very complex fragrance. It has a cotton vibe. It performs and stands up to the high heat. The marine version, the flanker, the brother of this fragrance might be a little bit better for the high heat. This one is just so beautiful and complex. I think that you could wear this for summer nights. I think that you could wear this for summer mornings. And I think that this is the most intriguing, the most complex, and the most beautiful of this line from Bulgari. So this is a beautiful fragrance. If you haven't heard about it, I encourage you to go out there and check it out. Aquatics a lot of the time can smell generic and sound generic. This is not a boring aquatic. I can put my word on that, and I can promise you that. This is not boring. Check this one out if you want something a little bit more on the green side, a little bit more complex, a little bit on the green side, just a little bit, and it's fantastic. A salty one for sure. This is none other than Akva by Bulgari. We've got to jump to another salty fragrance, but this one is more modern. This one's more playful. This one's more for the younger guy out there. This is... Yes, this is a limited fragrance. Not a lot of people know about it, and the supply is probably drying up, but I got to share it with you today. Living, I mean, swimming in Lapari is a fantastic fragrance. You're getting that light, lemony fragrance DNA of light blue that's so mass appealing. Everybody loves it, everybody knows it. Very mass appealing, and you're getting salt, you're getting ambergris, you're getting a very nice ocean vibe. If this one is not green, this one is not mature in any way. It's just light and playful. But this one has very nice performance for an aquatic. It has very good performance, I would say, for the high heat in the summer. This one really stands with you and stays for a while. And boy, this one does smell fantastic. And it's one of my most complimented fragrances. And I, I put my word on that. This is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. This is Swimming in Lapari. Again, shout out to Chaos Fragrance for putting my nose and putting it on some, our radar. So we even heard about it. I hope I do that sometimes. And this, the next one, guys and gals, is going to be one of those fragrances. This is a Lipor Ohm. The original, the one with the lion head. This is not, can be, not to be confused with Equius, the one with the horse. This is the lion. This is the very macho, very masculine fragrance that perhaps put the whole puts the whole opus line of a wash to shame because of the price the hundred dollar price that already is a stellar deal and you can find this at discounters for close to 30 but again 
this is more for a gentleman. This is more for the mature crowd, 30 plus most likely. But if you want something that's fresh, lemony, but yet has this dry cotton vibe, a papyrus vibe, it has unique uses of florals and very light spices. It smells very clean and it is a very nice gentleman's fragrance. I really do recommend this for an everyday fragrance and for a fragrance that's just super versatile for you gentlemen out there, for you classy gents. This is a fantastic fragrance. This is a classic fragrance. One of my favorites out there, and I don't mind as a mid-twenties guy smelling like a fantastic classic gentleman. I have gotten compliments with this fragrance, and this smells like niche quality. So if you want to rock on a budget, if you want to smell niche, if you want to smell like you're a mil like a million bucks on a budget, check check out this fragrance, guys. This is definitely a stellar fragrance for the money. One of my favorites. So the next one is one of my wild cards. I do have to say this is one that you probably are not expecting. This is none other than Carnair Barcelona's Elborn. This fragrance is a vanilla fragrance, but it has citruses to it. You might think that this fragrance has too many similarities to that Guerlain Ideal Cologne. Just a light kind of sweet fragrance, but you would be mistaken. This is a fantastic fragrance. It's super versatile. It might not be best for the super high heat, but it's going to be great for those super high summer heat nights. This is your date night fragrance. This, guys, is your killer fragrance for those summer nights where it's really hot and there's a breeze. A breeze that just picks up smells and seems to make magic happen when you're smell you're smelling like a sweet, citrusy, beautiful kind of vanilla. Very complex. There's a little bit of spice. There's a little bit. There's some things playing out in this fragrance. And it, when that when that heat of the night really picks things up, this is a beautiful fragrance. I guarantee it. This is a wonderful one. Elborn. I think too many people suggest that this is a fall fragrance because it has vanilla in it this is this is so light it's so citrusy it's so versatile elborn is probably one of the best from carnar barcelona and i'm falling in love with carnar barcelona fragrances i really do like their vibe and their scent dna check this one out if you have a little bit more money to spend a little bit more coin and you want to sm smell fantastic different unique and you know <laughs> Be charming. If you want a romantic situation to happen, check this one out for the high heat of the summer nights. I put my word on it that this is <laughs> it's gonna do the job. So the next one, oh y'all knew it was coming. This is my channel here, Accentitar Fragrance, and I have to share this fragrance. I have to dote on this fragrance and love it, praise it. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do to it, but this is Terre d'Hermes Otres Fresh. Yes, this is the fresher version, the more mass appealing version, the lighter version of the original. Instead of the soil, you're getting the mineral. Instead of that dirty, kind of mature orange, you're getting a very bright, beautiful orange. This has neroli. This has a little bit more of a floral feel. When it dries down, it's, again, it's of an earthy vibe. It's a minerally vibe. So it smells very well put together, very classy, perfect for office wear, and a fantastic fragrance that has spectacular performance if you're wanting you know something for the high summer heat and yet classy so this is your go-to classy fragrance if you're looking for something in the high summer heat i really put my word on it that this is one of the best designer fragrances on the market this has smells like spectacular quality the performance is there the smell is there it gets me compliments this is a showstopper i've walked into a room and I was only wearing four or five sprays and everybody was really impressed and kind of, I, I turned heads with this fragrance. So a spectacular fragrance. I put my word on it. You know, Terre d'Hermes, Otres Fresh. What can I say? In my, in my opinion, one of the classics of this generation. So this has been my top 10 summer fragrances for the high heat. There's so many to choose from here. I hope that you find one that you like. I've tried to approach every single kind of high summer, high heat summer fragrance that you could think of. I have your salty aquatics. I have your inoffensive aquatics. I have your classic, you know, fragrances for every situation. I have a gentleman's fragrance. I have something interesting from the Middle East. I have something that's very modern and youthful. You know, that Guerlain Ideal. 
So thank you all so much for being here today. I hope that you find something that you love from this list. I think that this is a spectacular list, and I hope that you do too. And if you stuck around to the very end of this video, please give me a like, a comment, uh, even share the video, and hit that notification bell. Hit that, hitting that notification bell is so important so you never miss out on an episode, and you get a pop-up whenever I release a video. So thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you so much for supporting me here at the Sintitar Fragrance Channel. Thank you for everything that you do for building the fragrance community and making this channel a success. So thank you so much for stopping by. I consider y'all my family. And of course, don't forget to wear what you love. And I'll see y'all next time. This has been the Sintitar Fragrance Channel. Peace out. Enjoy the summer in the high heat. Be smelling good, my friends. And bye.